Hey, so I was doing the research for the next long format video about the F-35 Block 4 and I came across a striking similarity between the F-35 and the Sukhoi 27. Not the Sukhoi 57, not the latest Sukhoi 35S, no, I mean the original Sukhoi 27 of the 80s. Come here, let me explain. In January 2023, the Air Force has started the testing of the Technical Refresh 3 on the F-35. The Technical Refresh 3 is a series of modifications involving the onboard main computer, the displays, the units arriving in the displays, and some other electronic components, some antennas on the aircraft. So we are talking some important pieces of hardware. So this is part of the Block 4 enhancement. It is required for the Block 4 software to work in the future when it will be released, but for now should work with uh, a current slightly modified version of the current Block 3F software. Now, it turns out that it doesn't. Oh! In fact, the Air Force is refusing to accept the aircraft with the technical refresh 3 hardware and these aircraft are already being produced because yes you know concurrency this is what happens with the F-35 and they are just put in storage till the problem will be fixed. And by the way, according to the new timeline, testing should end at the beginning of next year, beginning of 2024. Now, before you start saying that the F-35 is a piece of junk and it is unreliable, uh, this is definitely unavoidable on a program of the complexity of the F-35, particularly on an aircraft uh, where software is pretty much the main avenue of delivery of performance. I don't know for sure, I'm not there, but it is pretty clear to me that something at some point in during the development, the original development went wrong, and now they have to live with a huge amount of technical debt that will probably accompany the aircraft for most of its lifetime. So it's not surprising when things like this happen. In general, what happens with these complex and high-tech programs is that when all the bugs are ironed out, all the issues are fixed, then they behave really, really well. Which is, by the way, the consensus around the 3F version of the aircraft. Now, what has all of this to do with the Suhoi 27? Well, the serial production of the original Suhoi 27 started in 1982. But at the time, there were serious problems with the radar. Oh no! Fazotron was unable to deliver a radar that was working according to the specifications. At the time, the radar was capable of using 16 different frequencies, which for the time was notable, but uh, it really didn't work uh, as expected. So it took till 1986 to fix the problem. The first fully operational Su-27 had been delivered to the regiments in 1988. So you may wonder what happened between 1982 and 1986 and from 1986 to 1988. Well, from 1982 to 1986, hundreds, I don't know how many, but literally hundreds Su-27 have been produced and then parked somewhere, uh, protected under tarpaulins, waiting for the radar to be ready. And between 1986 and 1988, there was a retrofitting program, went through all these airframes, installed the new radar, restored the aircraft to flight conditions, and then the aircraft was delivered. So this is the parallel aircraft being produced and stored because they don't work well enough to be accepted in service. Now, I don't think that the F-35 will take six years to fix the problems. I, it's reasonable to expect that next year will be okay, but this is a striking parallel. There is an old saying in Italy, tutto il mondo è paese, which means the whole world is basically the same village. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week with the long format.